testing whether or not mold release spray is going to make separating the molds any easier. The mold on the left has mold release, the one on the right does not. These are both the exact same tire pattern and our mix is going to be mixed together so they get the exact same mix as well. We'll see if it makes it any easier. Okay, so I just finished the pour. Both molds are full, all out of the same cup so that we know that the mix is the same. We'll let them cure. The one with the blue tape is the one that used mold release. Okay, so the moment of truth, we've got the mold on the left here used mold release. The mold on the right did not. Now I'm going to pull these apart. I'm going to try to not speak so that we can hear the forces as these come apart. Starting with the one that did not have any mold release. So that does take a fair bit of force. The second bit's a lot easier to get out once you're able to get it to flex. Okay, let's see if this one's any easier. I don't know, that still required a lot of, re of force. I don't think that was actually any easier. I'm curious if it changed the surface finish at all. But even looking at that, I don't think there's any change.
So I think in this instance what we're fighting is not the silicone being stuck to the mold but what we're fighting is the tire tread being wrapped inside the mold because those cavities are pretty deep. So I'm going to say that uh, mold release is not necessary and it, to me anyway it didn't feel like it made it any easier to get it out.